Newsies was released in 1992, right smack dab in the middle of Disney's renaissance, and it was their first live-action musical in 15 years since Pete's Dragon in 1977. Speaking of Disney's renaissance, Newsies reportedly wasn't ever planned to be a musical, but that all changed when Disney wanted to cash in on the musical hype train it created with The Little Mermaid and The Beauty and the Beast. Far from the lousy headlines and the deadlines in between. 16-year-old Christian Bale reportedly never wanted to be in a musical, and had signed on to the project before it was turned into one. Once the switch was made, though, it took him a long time before he was willing to tell other people what he was really doing. Since Christian Bale was so opposed to musicals, you can already imagine that he had never been involved in one before. And even more, he said the most experience he had was just singing to the radio in his car. Most of the time, costumes are designed from research on the fashion trends of the period. However, for this film, some of the clothing was actually vintage. For example, most of Sarah's outfits were original, and L. Keats had to be very careful throughout the shoot to not damage them. Don't be afraid and don't delay. Nowadays, it's rare that an actor's voice is used for a movie soundtrack, but in the early 90s, those expectations weren't as high as they are now. So the voices you hear in the film are actually from all the boys cast in the film. To share a little bit more facts about the costumes, the boots of the main characters were tailor-made for them by a dance company, but the other 100 pairs for the rest of the boys were made by a shoe company using old equipment that the shoes would have been made with back in the late 1800s, just to give the cast a more authentic look. The boys in the cast enjoyed playing pranks on director Kenny Ortega every week. They would often try to dump water on him from up high on top of the sets. And one time they even packed his trailer full of newspapers so when he opened the door, they'd come spilling out on top of him. High times, hard times. The theater where the vaudeville show scenes were filmed was an old closed down theater in New York, but they got permission to reopen it to use it for filming. We beat it! For the big crowd scene at the end, they needed to fill the streets with as many people as possible. And some of the crew's families were even dressed in costumes to make sure they got all the people they needed. To see more fun fact videos about non-dance related movies, check out my other channel, Fun Fact Films. You can click the link on your screen to see a playlist about the Mission Impossible movies. If there's a movie you'd like to learn about next, please leave a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to learn more fun facts about your favorite films.